Jesus Christ. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shanice's Suitcase. Uh, so in today's video, I wanted to talk with you guys about the Droid Depot in Walt Disney World in Florida. I was able to go with my parents a few weeks back and we were there for about five days. We had a five day hopper when we went and I was able to build a droid in the Star Wars land, the Star Wars Galaxy Edge area in Hollywood Studios, and it was great. So I wanted to talk to you guys about um, just my experience that I had there, um, you know, like how it went, how long it took, just like, and also, well, I think the main thing would be how much it costs. But yeah, so we're going to talk about that in today's video. So without further ado, let's go. I was able to book an appointment at the Droid Depot. Basically what that is, is if no one doesn't know, but you can build your own droid from the Star Wars series. There's two different kinds you can choose from. It's either the BB or the, the R series. I chose to do the BB just because, of course, you know, like R2-D2 is older and he's like the original, but I personally like the way that the BB looks just because it's more circular it's more compact. To be honest, it probably took like, mm, I'd say like 15 to 20 minutes to build the droid. It really didn't take that long um, because I think, you know, with COVID, it was limited capacity. So they were trying to get people in and out of there. Now, of course, before you guys go, if you are planning a trip to Walt Disney World or you're going in the near future, please, please double check on the Walt Disney World website for the current um, requirements uh, for COVID-19. Like I said, I went back in May, so it might be a little bit different now just because everyone's getting vaccinated. The process was fairly simple. So, like I said, it took like 15, 20 minutes to actually build the droid. Um, one thing with COVID, you're not allowed to have more than one person in there. So, it was my mom that came with me. My dad just kind of like walked around the park. But to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, you actually build the droid. Like you build the whole thing. You have to pick your parts. There's a conveyor belt and it has the parts running along it and there's a map uh, on the front when you first go to the conveyor belt and it tells you the parts that you need for your specific droid. Let's go ahead and talk about the cost because of course I know that's the main thing um, you know for everyone that I know that was my thing you know I was just kind of like Bruh. am I really gonna do this? Yeah I'm not gonna lie it's of course it's Disney and it's Star Wars so it wasn't like crazy expensive but I will tell you so for the total package which it, I got um, the droid this is the backpack that you can purchase with the droid it does not come with the droid you have to purchase the backpack separately now when you go to build your droid and you get up to the register they're going to they're gonna tell you or they're gonna ask you do you want to just build the droid or did you want the package the package includes a personality chip and the backpack we have three different personality chips that you can choose from you can choose the first order personality chip which is technically the evil one you can choose the smuggler personality chip that's the neutral and then like I did you can choose the resistance which is the good for the whole package I paid it was 175 for the whole package that's the droid uh, the personality ship and the backpack now if you wanted to just build the droid by itself on the Disney website it is listed at $99 it will most likely be a hundred and some change um, if you wanted to the backpack and the personality ship you can actually purchase those separately so if you want to build the droid and purchase the personality ship you can do that you don't have to get the backpack um, the personality ship by them by themselves are $15 and the backpack is 60. Now let's talk about before you go. So you do have to make a reservation with pretty much everything else in the park at the moment. You do have to make a reservation for the Joy Depot, which you can do that on, if you have the uh, My Disney Experience app, you can do that on the app, or you can actually do it on the website as well. Also have to make sure you have access to Hollywood Studios for that day, whichever day you're going. Either park reservations or a hopper. For Hollywood Studios. The hopper, of course, you know, meaning you can hop from park to park, which meaning you can go to Magic Kingdom in the morning and then you can just hop to Hollywood Studios in the evening and build your droid. But either way, you have to have park access to Hollywood Studios in order to build the droid. So if you don't have a park hopper, then you have to make sure you have a park reservation for that day that you want to build the droid. Otherwise, you're not going to get in. 
when you get your droid, if you, depending on whatever personality chip you put in it, once you build your droid, you can walk around the park. Um, you can walk around, it doesn't work anywhere else other than, of course, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. But you can walk around the park, and the droid, depending on the personality chip that's in there, will actually interact with things in the park. Also, um, the gentleman that helps me build my droid, he did tell me that there's an app you can download. It is available for iOS and Android. It's called Droid Depot. Two ways to control the droid. This is actually the remote for the droid. So you have all your buttons. Um, these are the sounds. It moves forward and backwards, left and right. The Droid Depot, you download that and that'll basically turn your mobile phone into a remote for your droid. And the cool thing about the app is that there is some extras. So you can actually play games with your droid. You can also set up dance moves. Uh, your droid can dance. Alright guys, so I wanted to help you out with the app since I had a few issues myself using it for the first time. So when you go into it, it's going to have the loading screen and then once it's finished loading, it's going to ask you, do you have a droid or do you not have a droid? In this case, you're going to say, I have a droid. So hit that. It's going to ask you about Bluetooth. You hit OK. And then after it asks you about Bluetooth, it's pretty much going to just be kind of trying to find your droid. Detect unknown droid, initiate droid communication. Yes. Turn your droid off, then tap continue once you turn it off to begin synchronization. So what we're going to do here, put your phone down. And then we're going to unfortunately take our little baby apart here. Just take, just rip his head off. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to actually turn uh, the body and then open it and it's going to have that big mechanism in there. There is a smallish gray button, it's like a square, that's actually the on off button. You can see me pointing to it there. So we're going to turn that off and then once we turn the button off, we're going to go back to our phone. And then we're going to hit the continue button once we've turned the droid off. Now we're going to turn the droid back on. And then once we turn it on, we can go ahead and put it back together. So you can see those um, red little triangles there. That's kind of a guide to help you. Um, you know, take the base off and put it back on. Let's put his head back on. Then we're going to hit continue since the droid is turned on and everything. After that, it's basically going to tell you, hey, we found your droid. Um, do you want to connect to it? And then it's actually going to make a beeping sound um, to just pretty much tell you that it's officially connected with your phone. So then you just hit yes there. And then it's pretty much going to tell you, like, the information about your droid. Of course, I don't know why mine's wasn't correct, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So, just a couple things I want to show you on the app. You can do, um, like I said previously, the dance moves. So, I know that's pretty cool, so I wanted to show you that real quick. So, when you do the dance moves, um, you can actually pick any number. Um, and then you click initiate and then what you do here is you can actually drag each uh, move into a specific slot and then when you hit initiate that'll essentially initiate the dance move thing <laughs> but um yeah so yeah so those are the dance moves so i know i hit um initiate so there you can go see it dancing getting his groove on kind of but anyway that's for the most part i think it's pretty cool um i mean you know everything sounds just like the bb-8 in the star wars movies so i thought that was that was pretty cool I thought this was cool um well apparently i think everything is cool but <laughs> so you can play tic-tac-toe with your droid which how it works is like regular tic-tac-toe when it's their move they make like this little beeping sound you see his head move that means he made his move then you make your move um there's two modes uh like you saw there is easy and hard you can pick either one the hard one is actually pretty easy so and that's 
the basics for the app. You can use it as a remote as well, so you don't have to use that big clunky one. But yeah, so it was, it's definitely a pretty cool experience. I enjoyed everything. Like I said, it was super fast. There's only one person allowed in, which kind of sucks, especially if you have like a big family and like a lot of people there. You know, if it's like little kids that are going to build the droid and they want to have, you know, like both parents, unfortunately they can't. But then again, like I said, just make sure you do check the Disney World website because that could have changed since we since we've been. If you guys have any questions related to the Droid Depot, Disney World, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, anything in between, uh, I can definitely answer any of those questions you have. <laughs> Yeah, just watching that video, uh, I had to put my hair up. It's getting a little hot in here. I still can't believe I spent that much money. So it's a little hot. It's a little hot. But that's okay. I do appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so, so much. Um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and you want to see more. I would greatly appreciate that. But I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.